At an age when most veterans have given all they have, Jim Parks still wants to do more. When he was in his 80s, he helped build this cemetery in California, Sonoma County, dedicated to veterans. One nation under God. Parks is still serving the country he fought for in World War II. That's what drives me. That's what's keeping me alive. His latest project is a flag that he designed with a simple theme, Veterans Remembered. I think it's just ludicrous when you think of the fact that the active branches of the military, all five of them have a flag. Even the Surgeon General has a flag. But the average veteran does not. So Parks, who today turns 93, dreams of having that flag fly in all 50 states, a campaign he wages from his bedside. Parks' daughter, Ella Steinberg. He's a humble person, but he's doing something that's much larger than he is as an individual. 25 states, including California, have now approved the flag. For Jim, it means half down, half to go. Those veterans should be recognized. And that would be accomplished simply by making this a national emblem. It's always going to be not just a veteran's remembered flag. It's going to be uh, my father remembered flag. My father as a veteran and as a veteran for other veterans. Just like his work in building this cemetery, at a time when most military cemeteries are either full or rapidly running out of space. Jim, this is to honor you and we thank you for giving us the gift of this cemetery. You guys have been more than generous to me and I appreciate yeah, that. More like the other way around, buddy. Park says he will not rest until he is laid to rest, making sure that all veterans are honored and remembered. We're armed! Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Ben Jim. Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.